What is TSAT, you ask? Well, good question. So we know that ferritin's a pretty good tool for diagnosing iron deficiency, but it's not perfect, and having other markers can be helpful, especially in cases of inflammation. So what else can we look at? So remember that transferrin is the main way that your body moves iron around. And when your iron levels are low, your body makes more transferrin. It wants iron. So maybe we can use that. Maybe we can measure transferrin, and if it's high, that might tell us that there's iron deficiency going on. Unfortunately, transferrin is very difficult and expensive to measure directly. But we have found a way around this. If we take a sample of a patient's blood and start adding iron to it, by measuring how much iron the blood can hold, we get a number that's a pretty good surrogate for transferrin and that's known as the total iron binding capacity. So the total iron binding capacity, or TIBC, is our surrogate for transferrin. If iron levels are low, your body makes more transferrin. Transferrin goes up, means the TIBC goes up. So the TIBC can be a useful addition to ferritin when diagnosing iron deficiency, but it's not a perfect test. In cirrhosis and inflammation, transferrin production goes down. It's a negative acute phase reactant. So therefore your transferrin level, and therefore your TIBC, can be normal or even low in states of iron deficiency if there's chronic inflammation suppressing the production of transferrin.